and it's another pickups video. <laughs> we haven't had many gameplay videos at the minute um, because I am quite quite busy but I, I will get back to them in the near future. Don't abandon me. Yeah, got a pickups video. We have got only one thing. We have got a box. Um, now I know what's in this box. You might be able to guess what's in this box. Very clever. Cardboard probably. Yeah, uh, we've got a box. Uh, I'm going to tell you a bit of a backstory about this box before we open the box. And the backstory will probably give you a good clue. Well, it will tell you what's in it. Um, this is from my friend Brian Dickinson. Thank you very much, Brian. Um, it has been sat here for at least a week. I, I do apologise. But as I did say, I was super, super busy. And I just have to, haven't had time um, to do the video. And I didn't want to open it without doing the video. Because it's my way of saying thank you. I'm really waffling today. Yeah. Um, so, backstory to this. Brian is a swine. Uh, he's an odd chap. He's one of the few people I know um, of my generation that love all 8-bit computers. Um, he's quite happy playing on the uh, CPC, the Commodore, the uh, Specky. He just loves them all. He just loves a good game, basically. Whereas... Um, I and a lot of my uh, school friends used to ridicule anybody who didn't have a Spectrum. I'm sure a lot of you remember the Playground Wars of the early late 80s. Yeah, uh, it got quite violent. Anyway, so I do tend to rib the Commodore 64 quite a lot on my channel and on Facebook and anywhere, basically. Yeah. Um, uh, Brian, Brian knows this and he does tend to maliciously add me into a lot of Com Commodore 64 groups on Facebook where I tend to just lurk in the background and make the occasionally derogatory remark <laughs> yeah anyway uh, Brian offered to send me something and uh, couldn't say no um, I'm sure you've already guessed what it is but we'll open the box we'll open the box and we'll see what's inside He's really taped this up. I'm trying my best not to lose a finger. Are we in? We're not in. We're in. <laughs> I do so enjoy opening a box. I think that'll do it. No. No. How much tape have you put on here, Brian? I take it tapes free. I take it you borrowed it from work. We're going to have to literally go all the way down. <laughs> there. That must be it. Now. Yes. We've got something I didn't think I'd ever be showing on my channel. It's the Commodore 64. It's the Mini. Uh, I know everybody showed these a long, long time ago. And actually, the big version's out now. Um, but he sent me he sent me a Commodore 64 Mini. <laughs> Very grateful, mate. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little tale now. Not many people know this. But as a kid, before I had any of this... Uh, before I'd even had a Spectrum, before I'd even played on the Spectrum, um, my cousin was a bit older than me, and we used to go visit, and he had a Commodore 64. And I used to play on it. It was the only computer I'd ever played on. And I actually asked my parents for one for Christmas, and they bought me a Specky. And when I actually opened it Christmas morning, I was gutted. Because <laughs> I wanted one of these. But then after I'd got it all wired up and started playing on it, I, I, I forgot all about the Commodore 64. <laughs> but yeah, secretly, I'm a Commodore fan. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to delete that bit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Commodore 64. They've been shown to death on the uh, on the tubes, I'm sure. But I'm, I'm going to show you anyway. Uh, it, I plug straight into the telly. You get the, the thing and the joystick, which a lot of people have called. I, I know with the new, bigger Commodore, Joystick's supposed to be a lot better, but I haven't had a joystick since my Amiga days, the early 90s. 
So it'll be interesting to see how, how I get on with it. Because uh, I keep meaning to get a joystick for the Amiga. I just use a Mega Drive pad and the spec I use the keys. Um, what's it got? It comes loaded with games. I know you can get a USB stick and add more games, but it's probably going to be beyond me. <laughs> That's that stupid. Um, there's loads on here. Some I've played on the Specky. Some I've never played um, at all. Anyway, let's open the box up. Oh, I'll show you the back anyway. So you can see the games. You've probably seen these. Everyone's seen these. Everyone's probably laughing at me because I've got one. <laughs> let's open the box. It's like brand new, this, Brian. You look after stuff a lot better than I do. Right, so we've got the outer box. And then we've got a very nice blue inner box which says C64 Mini on it. I'll put it there. And we'll open up inside. We've got this plastic. And then we've got the actual Commodore 64. Now, none of the keys work. But this is what they actually look like. Very brown. <laughs> very brown. Um, you've got U, two USB ports and I think that's the on button. I think. I'm not sure. HDMI and power in which is um, micro USB thingy. Here we go. So that's the computer. And then we've got... Let's take that out. HDMI cable. What's this? That's the power cable. One piece of plastic and the joystick, which has a lot more buttons than the original Commodore. The Commodore was the same as the Specky, as far as I know. You had one fire button. Sometimes you got more, but they all did the one thing. Whereas this, I think, has multiple buttons. Uh, that allow you to do things because the keys don't work. Feels alright. We'll have to have a go. We'll have to have a go. So that plugs into the USB port. And then right down at the bottom we have got the quick guide. Which is going to tell me how to fire it all up. So yeah, this is what we've got. Joystick. Computer, computer. Um, I think you can plug a USB keypad thing in if you want to type and do all the basic stuff. You won't do that. It's you. It's lost on me because to me, all these machines, no matter which one I, I, I'm using, they're all just for playing games on. Even the BBC in the corner, which was um, mainly for schools and education, it's not. It's for playing games on. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now is, first of, the, first of all, I'm going to thank Brian again. Thank you, mate. Usually appreciative of this, as I am anything anybody else ever throws my way. I'm always bemused that anybody does, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going, to, I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to plug all this together and we'll have a look at the Commodore 64 and, uh, and see what we think, me and you. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So I'll see you in a minute. And we're back on. So this is the first time I've switched the C64 Mini on. Um, I have to say straight away, it reminds me of the uh, SNES and uh, NES Mini, which isn't a bad thing. As you can see, there's a bit of information about the game, the top right, a screenshot, and uh, at the bottom, I presume, if I click left and right with the mouse, joystick even, it's not a mouse, David. With the joystick, it will go along the list of games. So let's see what we've got. Iridium, I know Iridium. Played that on the uh, Specky and the sequel on the Amiga. Uh, judo. I think I've watched Christian play that. Thing. I like Thing. <laughs> Not many people do, but I think it's one of the most um, jaunty tunes uh, you'll ever hear. Yeah, I'm on about Thing bounces back. Not Thing. I've never played Thing. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, that's uh, a thank you to the people who uh, was involved, I presume. Uh, 
Ark of Yesod. Game I've never played, but heard a lot about. Uh, that looks like a gauntlet clone. Super Psycho. I think I've got this for the specky. Summer Games. Baseball. Not bothered about that. Steel. Whatever that is. Uh, Star Pause. Will I watch play that? Watch somebody play that. Spin Dizzy. No good at that. Speedball 2, a game that I first encountered on the Amiga. It didn't get released on the Specky. Um, brilliant game. And there's the original Speedball. Snare, Skull Days, classic. Uh, Skate Crazy. I don't know what that is. Don't know. Oh, 1991. It's a new old game. Uh, Robin of the Wood. Uh, Rana Rana Pit Stop 2 Paradroid ah. I've played something similar to this on the Amiga and I've watched um, 20th Century Gamer play this it looks really good fun looks like one of those games you've got to study though uh, Nodes of Yesod um, Nobby the Aardvark whatever that is I don't know Nebulous. I played this recently. I did a Specky Amiga video. It'd be nice to have this in the middle, really. Um, I was. It's a hard game. It's, it's stunning graphically, but it's very hard. <laughs> bit of Monty. Love a bit of Monty. Don't know what that is. That looks like a shooter. Uh, Jumpman. Another shooter. Never got on with the Impossible Mission games. Either of them. <laughs> Hysteria. I remember this. I remember it having really good artwork. Um, but the game not being as good as... Oh, it's there, look. Uh, when it flicks over. That was the front cover on the uh, on the cassette tape. Yeah, like that. Not sure what he's doing there. <laughs> ah, I've definitely play, watched somebody play this. Don't know though. Highway Encounter, remember that? Don't know that one. Or that one. Hawkeye. That rings a bell. Now I know I've seen 20th Century Gamer play this one. Um, it looked good fun. Probably too hard for me. Uh, Galencia Mini. Oh look, a new game, 2017. I presume it's a Gallagher type thingy. Fire Lord Farming Simulator. That's a new game as well. Uh, everyone's a Wally. Everyone knows everyone's a Wally. Deflector. I used to really enjoy this. Uh, it gets hard really quick. You basically have to deflect the laser beam, as you can see there, from one place to another um, to finish the level. It's just a puzzle game, but I like puzzle games. Um, Cybernoid 2. Cybernoid. Really hard. Shooters. Uh, Cyberdyne Warrior. Creatures. I played that on the Amiga, not on the Specky. I never liked that sort of thing. Confusion. I think that's sort of like uh, one of those games where the war, where you have to make the way for the water to travel. If that makes sense, and it's timed. Yeah, I think. Not sure. Chips Challenge. Don't know what that is. Everyone knows California games. Terrible at them. Bounder, I don't know. Boulder Dash. Love Boulder Dash. I'm always rubbish at it though. Uh, you have to collect the gems and then the things above you can drop down and I always end up getting hit on the head. Yeah, don't know that one. Avenger, I played that a lot on the Specky. I'm a light is a shooter. I think we're about all the way. Yeah, we're all the way around. So let's let's pick a game. Uh should we do a shooter? Sign up. So I'm not sure what I should press now because as usual I haven't read the instructions so I'm just going to press fire and see what it does. So there we go. This is the first time I've seen a Commodore game running since I was about eight. Which is a long, long time ago. Incidentally, I've only played two Commodore games. Oh, we're on. 
I'm deaded. And a game I can't remember. It was like a side-scrolling shooter, like this, but very fast. And they're the only two games I ever played. Concentrating. I'm collecting these things and I don't know what they do. Um, well, first things first, um, I, I can't comment on the graphics because it's it's just a Commodore 64. It is what it is. Um, but the joystick itself, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's certainly better than the old cheaters I used to use as a kid. I don't know if I'm supposed to act activate these power-ups somehow. <laughs> Your squad is not ranked. I did rubbish. What's that do? I don't know what that does. Uh, I don't know how to get out. Oh, there we go. Exit game. I knew if I hit enough buttons, um, it'd do something. Let's have another look at let's have a look at another one. One I know thing. We'll put this one on because I know Christian hates it and it gets him back for sending me that egg. <laughs> I just love this tune. So we're the thing, and oh. and as I remember, we have to collect stuff. I think okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's bad. I think oil is life, I think. Oh, that did some up. Oh, Alright, so we have to collect microchips by the looks of it. No! <laughs> I've done it again! So that's two lives gone. Oops, is that it? Well, that wasn't very good, was it? Christine might be right. It might not be that good. enough of that, it's a silly game. <laughs> so that's the Commodore 64, let's just have a quick look in here. Um, not sure what's in here. There we go, it's just a list of people that have contributed. I think that's a good way to finish the video. Um, let me just turn that down, because I can't hear myself, it's that loud. Uh, I just goes to say uh, thank you again. Very happy with this, mate. Um, I'm going to use it in my videos. I think it'd be interesting to do some specky uh, Commodore 64 comparison videos uh, in the near future. So, as ever, thanks for watching. Those who did, catch you later. Bye bye.